Hello guys and welcome to another Profile Tree video. Today we're going to be going through the website wireframe templates. We're going to go through a couple of different ones as well, just for the wireframe, wireframing tools. And we'll also go into an explanation on what wireframing is. So other than that, we'll go ahead and get started. So starting off, what is a wireframe? So imagine this. Imagine you're building a house. Would you go straight into constructing? without any prep? The quick answer to that would be no. It's always better to start going to the drawing board and designing a plan. This could be the same as well for the wireframe. So the same could be said. Having a plan will, give, uh, will keep you on track. As well as that, you'll know the specifications you need to create the layouts and design of a website. There are different types of wireframes available. In user interface design, Wireframes are used to create layouts for websites, web apps, mobile apps, and more. Wireframes are also used for other areas like print designs, posters, infographics, just to help the user experience. So that's pretty much what wireframes is in a nutshell. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. It's just a means to help you design your website, uh, something that you could look at. Uh, on top of that as well, wireframes help you with the different color coding that you need. So especially if you've created uh, your wireframe and you have all the colors that you need, the fonts, how it should be laid out, it's all there in front of you while you're actually designing a proper, uh, the proper design or the proper website or app. Uh, so yes, moving on. Why wireframes are very important. So when it comes to user interface design, designs would often uh, designers would often neglect the importance of wireframing. Most would just go straight into the building process without any plans. Of course, which is understandable as most are already familiar with the usual structure of the design. But once you've experienced enough uh, web website designs and apps, you'll know the location of header, menu, buttons, etc. without the use and need of a wireframe. The problem with this is that it can lead to disastrous websites and apps that generate very low user interactions by ruining the user experience. Reason being, if you don't have a plan and you don't stick to a plan, you can't always have a couple of holes within that design. Wireframes help prevent this by allowing you to understand the process and outline the design beforehand. So this is pretty much what the design process looks like. Of course, you would have a prototype of what your website would look. So before the prototype, sorry, actually, you want to have a sketch. So pretty much just a drawing, a layout of how you want things. Pretty much just a physical or digital layout of how you want that website or how you want the app to look. Then comes the process of the wireframe. It's still a mock-up, but it's more of a professional layout mock-up. And it just determines some of the areas that you need to look at. So colors, your fonts, uh, what's the theme? Are you using uh, this design button or that design button? What sort of font, uh, alternative fonts could you use? The sizing on the fonts for the header? Things like that, that's pretty much what a wireframe is. Then you would proceed to create a prototype. And then once you've finished creating a prototype and you're ready to create an actual uh, project, then that's when you start designing it. And then you'll also have your finished product. So that's pretty much what the wireframe design process is in a nutshell. So moving on, uh, these are the things to note. So number one there, uh, I've stated that start with a clear layout. Wireframes help to get you to the prototype phase with a clear layout in mind. This keeps you on track and helps you stay focused while doing the build. So having a clear layout of what the, uh, of some of the necessary things you need, well, pretty much just, uh, it won't keep you off track, but on track. Feedback. Now, it's always great to have feedback so whether it's negative or positive feedback, it's great, especially if you're working with clients and you need to avoid multiple revisions to a site or app. So the best way to do this early uh, is with early feedback with some wireframe designs. 
course, you don't want to have multiple sessions with a client. It can, it's depending if you're running a business, of course, as well. Like, it can waste your time as well as that waste the client's time. So why not just have a built wireframe in, in order to pretty much just give you feedback on what they want changed and then you can change that. Then you'll have the prototype, then you'll have the design process and you'll have the finished product. Next, of course, is a better structure. So a wireframe can be used to give your site or app better structure. Having a solid plan is always great. So as it says, better structure, and then a solid plan. Better collaborations. So as well as that, if you are using wireframes for any other areas like creating posters or even websites and you have a bigger team and it's going to be a larger website, be it e-commerce or a regular website, anything like that, or an app, an app build. When uh, wireframes are very handy for group uh, groups. So it basically just keeps everyone on track. They'll know what design to use. Uh, each individual would know what their uh, tasks they're going to be set upon. And on top of that, it's a great way to get feedback from the developers. So now that we've covered that, we're going to go ahead and check out the best tools for wireframing. So there are a couple of wireframing tools out there. There are a list of them as well. And especially for gathering some wireframing templates as well. So we'll go ahead and check out the quick overview. So starting off with the first one, we've got Figma. And this seems to be more of the popular wireframing tool to use. Uh, I don't actually see any disadvantages to using this one other than a lot of positives. So anyway, Figma is a free cloud-based editor. It can be used to design everything from wireframes to mockups. So this tool does work better when you use it with a wireframing template skip. So that's pretty much what it looks like there, as you can see. Uh, we'll go into more detail and we'll actually check out the wireframing tool itself. So once you've logged in, this is pretty much what the wireframing draft looks like. You've got a selection of different tools, design, prototypes. You even have a background, an inspect tool as well. You've got some styling there for text. And if you close up here as well, it gives you like examples on how to do your wireframing. So for the first one here, especially if you are running, uh, if you have a, you know some products, this is some of the buttons and cards. Of course, you can add more if you want to, add more pages if need to. And then, of course, uh, this is just pretty much the startup, like a tutorial, pretty much. And these are, of course, some of the navigation examples. Uh, these are all for the header. This one here is the hero section. So as you can see, he's created a um, well, they've created three different design options to use for the website. So it's pretty much then the developer's choice or whether or not it's possible to actually create. Then there's a social media bar there or social proof, testimonial pretty much. And then this is some of the, well, a features left. And then a features right, so he's created two different options there. Then we've got a, a CTA, as you can see. Then some of the design um, parts for a footer. Some of the posts. So this could be like, um, especially if you're creating an e-commerce site, then some of these are, or could be products, you could say. So there's a couple of different options there. And then there's like a membership or pricing plan. So especially if you have like an app. So that's pretty much, so that's, that's like a website based one. So of course it would be used for a website, but there are other options, especially for creating a app, so a gaming app or just an app in, in general, just a social app. 
And on the left here, you can see some of the different sections and it even shows you what's within it. And you can hide some of the areas as well. So if we do look at the hero section and if I hide the center, removes the center and then the image on the right. So pretty much everything you need is here. You can create areas, you can add text, and you could state this is the color code for this. So pretty much everything is there. It's all to your needs. Got some text there as well, resources. So it's an overall very, very handy wireframing tool to use. So I'd highly recommend it. Anyway, moving on, we'll check out the next platform to use. So here's Mock Plus. Uh, works almost the same way, but of course, the, each of the wireframing tools are very different. So this one has a large number of ready to use components, icons, UIs, and templates pre-installed. You have tools provided to create your wireframe, also lends you a hand with your designs, interactions, and animations, also to make it easy, uh, also, makes it easy to create more realistic wireframes. This tool can be used for collaborative work as well as your entire team can work on the same project. So when you're first starting off, this is what it initially looks like. And of course you can learn more, check out what's new, but this is an example here. So we'll go ahead and click on this. The navigation itself is very easy to use. There's pretty much what it looks like. So this is an up version of what the wireframe looks like. So it's showing us here that this is what it looks like if you log in, then this is the home. And of course, then that frames out to different areas. If I could just get this right. I've lost it there. And of course that branches out into different areas like the link, if they've lo lost the, say an email, uh, the number to get into it or pretty much to link a bank card, recharge money, homepage, it's all pretty much there for you. And then we can even select which area we want to join into. So yeah, that, that's pretty much the outlook of it as well. And you can see some of the different areas for it. And then you could do your tasks. Uh, if you have a group project, of course, you can look into the group project, invite members, and pretty much the teams here as well. Overall, it's just a very easy platform to use uh, in terms of wireframing. So it's, it's one to have. Uh, it's great for group projects. So I would pretty much recommend it. Anyway, we'll move on to the next wireframing tool. So this is Fluid UI. So this is unique amongst other wireframing softwares. Uh, this offers a wide variety of interaction elements and animations. Also comes equipped with at least 2000 icons, design elements and widgets. All these features are drag and drop for your pages. So we'll go ahead and check out the Fluid UI. So this is the first initial startup for creating an account. So this is the account here. Of course, this is a tutorial video. Then you can have your website application. This is pretty much what you're designing for. So depending whether it be an app or a website application. So we'll just create a website application for the meantime. So then you could double click anywhere to create the first page. And then you can click in to zoom in. Pretty much it is a little tutorial on how to get started as well. So of course I can create like rectangles, just say for this area, I'll have that. Then here I would have the text. So say as well, I can have my navigation up here. This could be my hero section right there. So I can have my hero section there. And of course I can add some images in here if I wanted to, and I can have menus as well. So say I wanted to remove this and then I wanted to have a menu. I can plop that in on the top, change where it anchors. I can lock it into place as well. 
uh, or pennant. And then, so these are the different layouts. Uh, as you can see, so just say I remove that part. I can drag this part in if I wanted to have an image on that. Or have an image here. And then say I wanted some text there. I would recommend this wireframe. It's just very easy to use, especially for those looking to set up with having one. So that's our first UI page there. Then of course we can have a page two. Then we could select that here and then zoom in. And then of course do vice versa. So we would have our menu item there if we wanted to. And just pretty much explain that on. Then they've got some loads of different uh, widgets and symbols. And then you can also clone the pages if you want to. So depending how many pages you have, you can drag them about as well, link them up, add pages using the top bar there. Yeah, overall an easy wireframing tool to use. So moving on, of course there are other wireframing tools to use. So there's uh, Kaku, Ninja Mock, Pencil Project, Wireframe.cc, Balsamic, Wireframes, Miro, and Adobe XD. So feel free to check out the other wireframing tools to help you with the templates. It can be very, very beneficial. But other than that, that pretty much covers the entire video. If you guys have any questions at all regarding what we've just covered, of course, as I said, there are other wire, uh, wireframing tools available out there. So please do check them out. Uh, but yes, if there's anything that I've missed, leave them down in the comment section below. Other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much.